Good morning, good morning to you all. Good morning, everyone. Good morning to Africans. Good morning to Nigerians. And good morning to all the Edo citizens worldwide. This is me again, the EO Rotating. Welcome to the EO Rotating audio broadcast. I bring another breaking news to you today because people like us cannot stop talking. We had enough of all this promising affair. We have we had enough of misplacement of priorities. The Edo State Governor, when Obaseki was campaigning, all the promises he gave to us, he has failed us. He has failed us and he has failed us woefully. You see, when there is a situation whereby you have a those citizen running away from their state, running away from Nigeria, you have to, as a governor, you have to sit down, call your team, and find out why are they leaving? Why are they running away? What is the problem? You have to identify the problem and deal with that problem first. Deal with the problem first. So once the problem is dealt with, so people will not have any excuses then to leave home in the first place. They don't have to leave anymore. Then you, the governor, can actually come out and say, listen, I have that institution up and running. Like the Bini Technical College, is that building is a, such a great building that Governor Obaseki can use as a ski accusation center. If Governor Obaseki really, really want to do something meaningful, something meaningful, Governor Obaseki can invest and renovate and equip the Bini Technical College. And that center will be, be is very useful for so so many things. Okay, but when you have a governor that cannot cannot even get his priority straightened out, cannot even get his priority right, that that is still beating around the bush, that is jumping left, right, and center. That is a governor that is clueless. A governor with a clue. If we, if we that is not in power, that is not in government, we know what the problem is. And we know the solution to the problem. Why can't Governor Obaseki, the Edo State Governor, that has been there, that he has been in the government now for good nine years, why can't he solve this problem? He know the problem, he know the solution. He just don't want to do it. <laughs> he just don't want to do it. That is the, that is the fact. He just don't want to do it. Do it. Now, I have never, I have never hear a leader of any country or any nation says that trafficking is the greatest security challenges in their state. I've never hear such a thing. Never. Obaseki came out a few days ago saying that uh, trafficking is the greatest challenge that his administration is facing in a do state. My people, how can, can anybody tell me how trafficking has contributed in the backwardness of our infrastructure in a do state? Can anybody tell me how trafficking has contributed in the backwardness of our educational system, healthcare system, our industries and, institu in, and uh, institutions in Edo State. How has traffic contributing or stopping our governor or Edo State government, both past and present, stopping them from creating jobs and enabling environment for their citizens? You see, I keep saying that, that 
Obaseki is dragging his foot. Now he have finally he have got he, he have gotten the right excuse now to say ah we must deal with trafficking. Trafficking is uh, uh, pose you know trafficking pose uh, uh, challenges to his administration, which is a lie, which is a lie, Governor Obaseki, which is a lie. And I'm very glad and I'm happy that people are beginning to see through you beginning to see your true color as a governor and beginning to know you and uh oshomole very well that you guys are no different from all the past governments or all the past governors we have been having in the district there is no different in you guys at all you guys are all criminals you guys are all time waster you guys you guys a criminal you are a criminal okay and you guys are murderer you guys have a lot of bloods in your hands you guys must know that all the lives of every Edo citizen that have been lost in libya the bloods is in uh, adam uh, hands and uh, uh, obaseki hands because during oshomole time for that eight years that is when the thing actually gets serious that is when people youth and those citizens was running away from that state trying to cross over to europe to look for a better life governor obaseki for you to state that trafficking is the greatest challenge facing your administration you should be ashamed of yourself for saying that you should be ashamed of yourself can you address the reason why the trafficking is taking place in the first place can you address the reason why people have to traffic themselves Father have to sell land to their son or their daughter to cross Libya or Morocco to Europe. Mother have to go out and sell properties for them to sponsor their children to Europe. Can you address the reason why all those things are happening? Don't you think it's because there is no job opportunities in Edo State? Don't you think, don't you think it's because there is no enabling environment, there is no support of any type of any kind from the government to empower a citizen in Edo State? Don't you think it's because of the hardship in Edo State? Don't you think it's because of lack, the lack of unemployment in Edo State? Why can't you solve that first, Governor Mbaseki? Why can't you solve that first? Look at you that evil promise to create 50,000 jobs every year. You have not created a single one. You are lying and lying. Instead, what you are doing now is putting up a propagandist uh, 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 advert on Facebook. And you are still telling lies upon lies. Even though people know that you are lying, you are still lying. That, you know, that is one thing about lie. If you tell first lie, you have to tell the second lie to cover up the first lie. If you tell the second lie, you have to tell the third lie to cover up the second lie. So you have to keep telling lie to cover up to cover up. Because one thing about lie is this: when you lie, you forget that you lied. When you lie, you forget. But when you someone that is honest, you say the truth. Even though somebody wake up in the wake you up in the middle of your deep sleep, you will wake up and repeat exactly what you said before. That is the truth. So Obaseki is lying and is lying and is lying. You have lied before. Governor Obaseki, you have lied. We know that now. Why can't you just change your ways? Why can't you change your ways? You have lied before. You have lied before, Governor Obaseki. Why can't you change now? Why are you think what do you think you have to tell lie? Tell another lie to protect lie to protect the lies. You have uh, all the lies you have told, you know, uh, 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 you have told us before. Governor Obaseki, this is the life of the Edo citizen you are toying with. This is the life of all the Edo citizens you are playing with. You are playing with our lives. Most of this, uh, most of all the Edo citizens that live abroad, they cannot even move back home, uh, move back home because of the bad state of that uh, 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 state, because of the bad uh, uh, condition of the state. They cannot move back, move back to a those state. People that the ones that live in a those state, they want to run away. Governor Basaki, they want to run away. Why can't you deal with the problem and face it? Create job opportunities for your citizen, Governor Basaki. Keep to your promise. 
Keep to your promise, Governor Obaseke. If you guys will go on Facebook, tell me Governor Godwin, Governor Godwin Obaseke. Okay? When he was campaigning, this post was posted to his page, Facebook page, on the 18th of April, 2016. Okay? This is when the post was posted to Governor Obaseke, Facebook page, on this on the 18th of April 2016, Governor Obaseki said, and I quote, when he was campaigning, these are one of the promises. And you guys will see how he just turned around now. He have changed from all that. When he was campaigning, he said the right word. He said what we want to hear. And he, he was able to identify all the problems in Edo State, and you will know the solution to it. He said, just vote for me. When you vote, when you vote me into office, I will solve the problem. So, on uh, the 18th of April 2016, this is what Governor, uh, Governor Gordon Obaseki posted on his Facebook page. Okay? He said, I will fight crime with jobs and not with guns. Governor Obaseki said, when he was campaigning, no, this post was posted on a Facebook page on the 18th of April 2016. He said, I will fight crime with jobs, not with guns. Okay? He said he will fight crimes with jobs, not with guns. Are you guys getting it now? That is during, uh, uh, that is during the time when he was toying with 192. World 192, that is when Obaseki was campaigning, going through all the wars, campaigning there. World 192. All right. Now, Obaseki said that he will fight crimes with job, not with guns. This is when Obaseki was addressing delegates and leaders from uh, 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 Ugweben, from uh, uh, Ugweben local government. Okay, and he said he, 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 that is when he was addressing delegate from uh, Igwebe local government. Obaseki said that uh, the reasons why why young men and women, I have to you guys have to just go to Facebook, type in Governor Godwin Obaseki. This post is there. It was pasted there on the eighteenth of April, two thousand and sixteen. Okay. Oba Seki said, uh, stated that uh, the reason why our young men and women and working age class engage in crime is because majority of them are idle. They are idle, meaning they don't have any job. And Oba Seki went ahead to say that he reminded them, uh, you know, he was addressing this delicate. He said, you know, uh, uh, he said that uh, uh, an, an idle mind is an evil workshop that is all about like he said during his campaign train you can see that this man know the problem so the question is why is he refusing to fix it why is he refusing to fix it you know he now said that uh, if we vote for him and he win, he win the election that he will fight crime with job instead of depending on guns and we continue to invest on the young generation by putting in place a structure that we continue attract investor to a state to step up industry that we provide jobs for our people that is all about like he said during his campaign train he said that he will fight crimes with jobs he will fight crimes with jobs now let me tell you what obasek is now fighting crimes with with, with now let me tell you what is fighting crimes with. He's not fighting crimes with jobs anymore. He's not fighting crimes with jobs anymore. Obaseki now is fighting crimes with armored personal career uh, uh, carriers. Obaseki now is fighting crimes with the armored personal carriers. Know that word? Uh, 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 those big vehicles, those uh, 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 armored cars that you, they use. So you know when they are going, you know, going to war, 
when uh, uh, Nigeria Army used to go and do Python dance in the uh, 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 in the east the other time, all those big big amounts bulletproof big vehicles. That is what Obasek is using to fight crime now. This is the same Obasek that said that he will not fight crimes with gun. He's going to fight crimes with jobs. Because Obaseki, the same Obaseki that said that, you know, an idle mind is an evil workshop. You guys should go to the Facebook page and read these things for yourself. Just type in Governor God in Obaseki. You will see this post it was posted there on the 18th of April 2016. When Obaseki was campaigning, he was saying that he's going to fight crime with jobs, you know, instead of guns. That is exactly the what he used. He said the reason why our young men and women are working class age are you know are, are, are getting involved in crime is because you know they don't have any job because there is no job because there is no job opportunities for them. That is what Obaseki says. It's written there. All right. So he said that he's going to create a job. He's going to fight a, a, a crime with jobs. Obaseki now. He went. I he went. I bought. He went. I bought this hammered personal uh, 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 carriers. If you tell you how much you spend in that car, now is it no that money? The money he used in buying that hammered personal carrier now is it not enough for him to use to equip that beneath technical college and use it as this uh, as a ski acquisition center to empower all those our brothers and sisters that we start that that you know that are uh, uh, returning from Libya. That have been deported, deported from Libya. So Basek still don't have any structures in place. He still do not have any structures in place. Because if Oba, Governor Basek think that any Liberia returnees or deportees who want to go into a, a, a fish farming, that man is a joker. So the, uh, Governor Basek now get to that state that he's so afraid now. He's afraid of his own life. He has to go and get the armored personal carriers for him to protect himself and his family. He has to go and get, get that armored personal carrier because, I mean, we have other security agencies in those state before. Why is it that now that they are starting to return uh, uh, our brothers and sisters from Libya? It's not that Basaki gets so afraid that he wants to get these armored personal uh, uh, carriers. This a uh, 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 big vehicle that you, that they used to go to war. <laughs> why? Why is you know you guys have to ask yourself why now? Why did why is it that at this point you went to get that? Why is it that Obaseki is so afraid now? That he went now to go and purchase the hammered personal carriers, the bulletproof world that we, big world is on Facebook there. They, 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 put, they put it there when Obaseki was sitting down there, you know, enjoying the ride. <laughs> during the ride the thing itself is the with the armored personal carrier is it, it, it's like a, a a a pickup it's like a pickup the way it is you can look at it that one self now made in china the even even the quality of it you cannot compare it with the, what they have in america the thing be like mangolo the even you see the way it's be like uh, you know it is no even solid you understand that man went went obaseki went and wasted money on that is that is that the number one thing right now in Edo State? Is that our priority? If Obaseki know that the only way you can fight crime is to create job job opportunities for the people, Obaseki know because he says it when he was campaigning. He said he's going to fight crimes with job instead of gun. He said the reason why our young men and women and working age class. A uh, citizen in uh, those states. The reason why some of them decided to, you know, get engaged or commit crimes is because there is nothing to do, because there is no jobs, it's because they are idle. And Obaseki said that the, you know an idle mind is an evil workshop. Okay, and he promised that his, his, his administration will create jobs. Instead of depending on guns, he said, "I call it to." Uh, he said, "I call it in a call it to uh, Governor Basak." He said, "My administration we we use job to fight crime instead of depending on guns." I'm quoting him now. That's exactly what, and continue to invest in our young generation. That is what Basak said when he was campaigning. In our in our next generation, by putting in place a structure that we continuously 
attract investors to Edo State to step up industry that we provide jobs for our people. Tell me one single industry now that is working in Edo State. I keep asking this question. People will want to re 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 reply and start attacking you as a person. No, don't attack the messenger. You know, deal with the message. Deal with the message that me, Igor Rutete, the born, the you know, the you know, the son of the soil, the motor of Edo State. You're about to sell Monile. You know, deal with the message. Answer when you want to reply. Answer to the question. Give answer to the questions. Okay. Tell me one industry that is working in Edo State. Don't forget, Obaseki was with Oshomole for eight years. So Obaseki have been in government now for nine years in a row, all put together. Okay? Obaseki has been there for nine years, all put together. See, nothing has been done. See, nothing has been done. All they do is to talk and talk and give false promises and trying to take, uh, uh, talk other lies to cover up the lie. All the lie that you have said before. Okay? All it does is to tell more, tell, tell more lies to cover up all the lies he has said before. Hmm? Tell me one industry in those states that is working. Tell me one institution in those states, apart from, say, the Edo House of Assembly, those people, those rasters that are there, those criminals. If you hear the allowances those people are getting, if you hear the allowances in the same state where you have homeless children looming around the streets, in the same state where you have graduates with no job opportunities, unless their father knows somebody that is at the top. If you know the money, all those speaker of the house of Edo House of Assembly, their salary are their allowances. You will shed tears for that state. You will cry. You will cry for that state. You will cry for that state, too. my people. If you want to advise Obaseki now, for example, say, okay, Obaseki, we will advise you to mobilize all the resources. We will advise you to mobilize all the Edo State resources. What will you advise him to mobilize the, our resources to do? Will you mo uh, advise him to uh, Obaseki to uh, mobilize Edo State resources? to fight trafficking or will you advise him to uh, mobilize Edo state resources to create job opportunity enable environment you know provide good infrastructure healthcare system educational system fix our institution our industry in Edo state to empower our farmers is that what you of me as a person that is what i will advise obaseki to do Obaseki now, he posted a post on social media saying that uh, he's going to mobilize all the state resources to fight trafficking. Obaseki, Governor Obaseki. So you know how to mobilize resources. You know this very well. How come you have no mobilized resources to fix our road, our all, all, all our state road? I keep referring, referring to uh, Welling Road. That road is still there. That road has not been touched. If I'm a second, I'm a governor, I'm a second, if you know how, if you know how to mobilize resources to do something, why can't you? How come you have not mobilized our resources in Edo State to do something tangible, something meaningful that the Edo State citizens will benefit from? How come you have not mobilized our resources to equip the five-star hospital that you yourself and Oshomole wasted $120 billion on? Governor Baseki, how come you have not mobilized our state resources, those state resources, to give us good infrastructure in those uh, uh, states? 
Governor Obaseki, how come you have not mobilized uh, those state resources to improve our healthcare system, our educational system, to empower our farmers, to fix our roads, to provide electricity for the poor Edo citizen? Governor Obaseki, this is the reason why I said Obaseki is the misplacement of priority. That is what's wrong with him. What with him? Misplacement of priorities. You want to mobilize a state uh, 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 resources. Governor Obaseki said he's going to mobilize a state resources to fight trafficking. You want our resources to fight trafficking. You could not mobilize our resources. To create jobs so that people that want to traffic themselves out of the country, they will stay there. They will not have any excuse to live anymore. You did not pro uh, 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 mobilize our resources to give us electricity in those state, to give us light. You, uh, Governor Basaki, just give us light in that state. It can be done. You can do it. The federal government will not, they will not stop, stop you from doing that. It will not stop you from doing that. Okay, if you and Osho Mole can find one hundred twenty billion dollars, then that you guys wasted on that five star hospital that the adult citizens are not benefiting from today. That one hundred twenty billion dollars is enough to provide electricity and still build small small clinic around the adult state. If you guys can first uh, uh, come up with such huge amount that you guys wasted. So you can come up, you can mobilize our resources to provide electricity for us in Edo State, Governor Obaseki. Get your priorities straightened out. Governor Obaseki, mobilize our resources. Use it to create, uh, to provide electricity for us in Edo State, Governor Obaseki. Mobilize our resources because if you say that you are going to mobilize Edo State resources to fight trafficking, what has trafficking done to Edo State? Why can't you look at the reason why these people are trafficking themselves out of the state? Why can't you look, why can't you find the reason why? Why can't you, you know the reason why? We know you know. Because you know we know you know. So why can't you fix it? Why can't you fix it? Because no boss like it, seriously, I keep saying that you should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself. The, the Libya returnees, some of them that refuse to take part in the, take part. In the fish farming uh, uh, training, those one was neglected. They was abandoned. Those one we started coming up, coming up on social media, so they started, you know, uh, uh, making, uh, uh, doing interview and putting it on social media very soon. They were neglected because there was absolutely no other choices for them. There was no say, okay, uh, you, what do you want to do? You, what do you want to do? You, what do you want to do? No, oh yeah, all of you come, come out the uh, fish farming training. It was by force. They <laughs> have to. Those ones that just say, okay, let us go and do it for doing sake. It would the one that we will end up, you know, taking part in the training. Now they are still on the ground. Zero over zero. They are not being empowered yet. Another promise was given to them by Governor Basek. That promise has not been fulfilled yet. That promise will not be fulfilled before Christmas. And good luck if they will get to make the promise after Christmas. So, Governor Obaseki, if you know that, if you said during your campaign train that you are going to fight crime with jobs instead of gun, that is what you should be doing. Fight crimes with job, with job opportunities. Okay? Governor Obaseki, you cannot mobilize our resources. You cannot mobilize our own resources. That is not your way. Our, uh, those resources, Governor Obaseki, is not yours. It's not your personal resources. We put you there to help us manage it for the benefit of the citizens of Edo State. We put, you, we put you there to mobilize to our resources to provide electri uh, 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 electricity for us, to provide good infrastructure for us, to provide a jobs opportunity for the Edo State citizen, to empower our farmers, empower our youth, <clears throat> to fix our road and uh, uh, improve our healthcare system and our educational system in those state. Not to mobilize our state resources to fight trafficking. When, by the time 
you actually mobilize our resources to create job opportunity, you will realize that nobody will want to traffic themselves out of Edo State anymore. They, they, they don't want to go anywhere. They will not want to leave. Because if wait till you define go Sokoto, it is inside, it, it, it inside your Shokoto. You know what? Eh? You know go come out. If the thing where you define the go Sokoto, it is inside your Shokoto. You know go come out again. So then you don't have anything to worry about trafficking anymore, Governor Basaki. Mobilize our resources, use it to create job opportunities for our people, both old and young. So they don't have any reason to leave the state in the first place. That is what you should be doing. Stop beating around the bush and, call, and promoting all those propagandist videos on social media. You know, just talk. Governor Basak, you are not fooling anybody. That is what you don't know. Stop fooling yourself. You are not fooling anyone anymore. Stop fooling yourself. I can talk to you the way I want to talk to you because, because we are the one paying your salary. We are the one paying all your allowances. If you don't like the job that you are in, or you don't know what to do, quit. Live there. Live there and stop wasting our time. Because on the 10th of May 2016, on the 10th of May 2016, Governor Mbaseki said, when Governor Mbaseki was addressing Edo Voice, Edo Voice, when Governor Mbaseki was addressing Edo Voice, Governor Mbaseki said, I'm quoting him now. He said that, uh, and we cannot even afford to slow down a bit and say, eh, I just enter office. I did learn. I am trying to study a uh, study area. And, it's, and he said that uh, no time to study. It's like a, a it's like a, a, a rally. That is exactly the, the word he said. The video, when you type it, Governor God, you know, Basaki on Facebook, you will see the video there. Obaseki said that uh, when he was addressing, that was the 10th of May 2016, was addressing the Edo uh, voice. He said that uh, once, once it, once it, once he took over office, that uh, he cannot afford to afford to slow down. That he cannot afford to slow down a bit, saying that uh, I just enter uh, that uh, 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 I just enter office. I'm quoting him, saying that I just enter office and uh, I'm learning. I'm trying to study. And uh, he said that there's no time to study. That it's going to be like a rally. At once enter, even when he was saying it, he was even demonstrating it, was demonstrating it like a rally, and he was trying to run. He was very white overall on that video. You put should go and see it for yourself. Okay, Governor Obaseki, the rally has be begun. Start running now. Get to work. Get to work. Stop fooling yourself and telling people to put on those propagandist uh, uh, video on, uh, on Facebook. We have said it all. We are we had enough of all this crap and nonsense. Stop dragging your foot and play politics with the life of the Edo citizen. As you speak right now, no single industry in Edo State that is working. As you speak right now, Edo State educational system has nothing to write home in, about. As you speak right now, our healthcare system is backward. Our infrastructure is decayed. There is no job opportunities. There is no soft law as you promised. Our farmers are crying they are not being empowered. What is your problem, Governor Baseki? Now you are so afraid to the extent that because the Libya, our Libya returnees now that you know they are, our people now are being returned or deported from Libya, you are so afraid you went abroad and uh, 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 you went abroad and uh, armed uh, 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 personal careers, and armed personal careers. You know, you don't. We don't need that. The money you waste in buying that uh, uh, armed personal careers is enough to for you to use to renovate at least some part of the Benin Technical College. So that all our Libya returnees, they will have place to go and, and you know, get some skills. Because it's not all of them that will be interested in, in, in uh, 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 fish farming. Okay? My people, my Edo people, this is the problem we have in Edo State. The people, alright, we have in Edo State, you know, the problem, the problem is those, those, alright, those people that have ideas, they, you know, they don't have any power. 
Those people that have ideas, they don't have any power. And those people that have power, they have no ideas. They are clueless. They are clueless. So Governor Obaseki, fight crime with jobs. Governor Obaseki, fight crime with jobs. Governor Obaseki, mobilize our resources to fix our healthcare system, our educational system, our infrastructure. Fix our industries, our institutions, and create enabling environment and job opportunities. Empower our farmers. That is the, th those are the things you should mobilize or you should be mobilizing our resources to do. Because those are you no, know, those are you no, know, those are uh, the reasons why we voted for you to be our governor in the state. Governor Obaseki, get to work. Get to work. The campaign is over. Thank you all for listening to the ERI to audio broadcast. As I said before, I'm going to be digging out all the promises of Governor Obaseki have promised us. If if there is anyone that I come across that Governor Obaseki have actually done or do, I will still say that yes, he promised this one and yes, he fulfilled his promise. But so far, all the promises Governor Obaseki give to us, he has failed, failed on each of them. He has not uh, fulfilled his promise so far. I thank you all for listening to the ERU audio broadcast. Stay blessed and bye.